welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a thrift store haul. I pretty much got all of this today, like an hour ago. And I have this little checklist in my head and I feel like I got everything that I was looking for, which is so exciting. I love when that happens. Every time I go thrifting, I think of what I want and I swear I just find it. I don't know if it's just because I'm more focused on a certain section or something, but um, I'm really excited to bring to you this haul. So let's do it, man. It's been a while. I haven't gone shopping for like three months. Let's start with the more tame pieces and build up. So first, let's start with these amazing pair of trousers, which I actually got the break. They're really thin and light, but they fit so nicely. And I love the cut of these bottoms. They're just slightly flared out, slightly boot cut, and they look great with my go-go boots, which is how I've been wearing them lately. It has some nice texture and... Yeah, they're just really comfortable and they just fit like a glove. I've gotten some of my favorite trousers from the break. They just have such nicely curated things there, so I always have good luck with pants there. But speaking of bottoms, let me transition nicely. Okay, I went to Unique today and I got this guest skirt. I wasn't sure how I felt about it, like the two pockets on the front, but I just really like the way that it fits and I think I'll be able to wear it with a button down shirt tied up or something like that. A white one with some hoops and just some sneakers. Early 2000s Britney inspired look or literally just wear it by the beach with my bikini top because it's just really simple, simple color. And maybe I could even paint on this. That might be really cute to paint some leaves or something. Yes. So I did find some blouses. This white one is so cute. It was $7.99 and it's so light and has some really cool patterns on it and I really like the buttons as well. This kind of reminds me of my uniform that I used to wear when I worked at this country club. I really love this and that is blouse number one and then I got a second one which also is very neutral. I love these ribbed like mock neck tops. It's just very very simple. I love the like blunt cut of the the sleeves on the bottom. It's really cool. It's really tight also makes my little ladies look good. Yeah, I'm really into these looks with my black sunglasses and just all neutral, similar colors. I feel like it looks so poppin' and so good and kind of like I'm on a secret mission or something. And then the next one I found also very neutral stripes. It's super light and this was six bucks and ooh, girl, it has one little pocket. I just feel like really good in this so I wanted to get it even though I don't even know what aesthetic I'm channeling. I literally just buy whatever I think is cute and get inspired by, so that's that. And then the next thing, the next five pieces I'm going to show you are the most iconic thrift finds. I know I've said that before, but this dress is incredible. This reminds me of Marilyn Monroe's dress, if I can be so wrong as to say that. I mean, it's completely different, but there's like little rhinestone things on it which just shimmer and it looks so beautiful. It's so thin and stretchy and light. When I put it on, it literally feels like I'm wearing nothing. And the slip underneath is this really thin, light, nude slip. You can see me through it. And the material itself also very like see-through and really stretchy. So this whole thing is just magical in that way. Like it just slinks onto your body and feels super light. I am so excited to wear this. I wish that I had this during prom of senior year. I totally, totally ugh, would have died over this. Um, I did wear a thrifted dress to prom. If I have a picture of it, I'll insert it here somewhere and you'll see like a glimpse of my ex-boyfriend, but super beautiful. Oh my God. No, I literally feel like Marilyn Monroe when I wear this. This dress needs to be worn somewhere special. So I will, I will do that and honor it. I'm really curious who the person was who wore this before me and how they wore it because it's fantastic and great taste. I found another dress. This dress I really liked the, the pattern of and I liked that it was black. I was so hesitant to try it on. I was like, oh, it's probably going to be so loose and baggy. I try this baby on. I tie it up and I literally just grab my boobs and start dancing because it fits so nice. I was like, yes, it fits so good. I was really like surprised. So really glad I tried this on. The brand is Jones New York and this was $13 so a little bit pricier. It's so so nice. It's like a perfect summer sundress. I don't really have any of those. I have little like slips that I wear out but those are so provocative and I always get so many people hitting on me when I wear those. I feel like this is classy. I could wear this to brunch and I don't know. I would feel like a bad bitch but a classy bad bitch. The last two clothing items are actually a set. I'll show you first 
the pajama gown, the nightgown. Um, I really, really like this up here. I like the pearl buttons. They're pearlescent pearl buttons. They're not actual pearl buttons. But what I think I'm going to do with this is crop it and make it a little bit below my knee so that I can wear it um, in the summertime with some well, like little slide-on shoes, some mules, or my go-go boots even. Just have it cut like that. Kind of reminds me of something that my grandma would wear. Yeah, I feel like I could wear it hemmed up like that or I'll literally just wear it long and prance around in a long field of grass at sunset and live my dreams <laughs> make my dreams come true the robe that comes with this this is going to be like my magic fairy cape that I will wear when I want to feel powerful and um this is it it might not be too shocking or incredible to you but to me this is like everything okay so once again, we got the detailed neckline, but these buttons that we have, it goes all the way down. There are two missing. What I'm going to do is take the bottom two and move them up to the middle so that it looks like it's supposed to be like that. It looks intentional. It has one pocket on the side, and this is so long and flowy, and to me, it doesn't look like a robe. To me, when I try it on, the color of this and the material make it feel like some designer brand, make me feel like I'm wearing Gucci or something like that. And this doesn't have a label on it, so I think this was handmade, and I can kind of tell by the stitching and the way that it was cut that it was probably handmade, and that just makes it even better. But holy cow, it's so flowy. Like, I just want to wear this on a sidewalk and hail a cab as this is flowing behind me, and I'm wearing my black sunglasses, and whew, I don't even know what I'm going to wear underneath this. I know my go-go boots are going to look sick with this. I might wear it tonight. I'm going to my friend's, like, little um, art show thing. He's spray painting a mural or something on this rooftop in Brooklyn, so I might be extra as hell and wear this cape looking thing with my go-go boots and my black trousers. Oh my god, this is incredible, you guys. And guess what? Both of these things were $7.99. That's really insane. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. I'm over it. Okay, the next thing that I got is this purse. It's really cute. I love little structured bags like this, but what I really love is just the crochet. What is this made out of? It looks like it's made out of like hay, or maybe it's just plastic stuff, but um, yeah. Super cute. Definitely reminds me of the 60s. This reminds me of that one Aretha Franklin cover. I'll put a picture of it here because that's the style and the time that this will probably be worn. And this says Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. That's what it says. It has this random plastic thing, which is kind of, I feel like, unnecessary, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to put my phone in here, my wallet, just very, very simple stuff. This isn't something that I would bring to a picnic because it doesn't carry a lot. <laughs> picnic, that's the first thing that comes to my head. Literally, that's all I do in the summertime, in the springtime, when it's warm, basically. I have picnics, like, two to five times a week because it's a plan. You don't need to like do anything special, dress up. I mean, I always do, but you can just, hey, let's just get some food from my cabinet and chill in a park and read. And that's why winter makes me sad because I need to try so much harder to make plans with people. I can't just sit in parks and read because it's freezing cold. Um, why am I going on this rant? I don't know, but I love picnics. <laughs> And this bag too. But this bag I would probably wear to brunch or something. I don't know. It's so sweet. I would wear this to parties, little events. I feel like I've been having a little bit more of a social life lately and going to like different different events and stuff. So I feel like this will be really cute to rock when I just have a few things to carry around with me. And I love the pegs on the bottom too. It's just such a nice structured piece and I love that. This is random. It's just the handkerchief that I got at Dobbin Street Vintage. And I really like it. Yay for handkerchiefs. Especially if you're like a crying hoe like me. These come in handy. I got this beautiful stitched piece. It says I love you to the core and it is so freaking adorable. I love the colors. Picking out a frame is actually really hard to do sometimes so I appreciate that they just picked a really simple nice colored frame. The back has this wire and yeah I'm just gonna probably hang this up in my room. Maybe I could hang it up here, but super cute and I love it. And, ooh, sorry, sorry bag. Lastly, I got this tray from Feng Shui or something, I think it's called. It's right next to the break. It just opened up. Things there are usually very pricey, but this was pretty reasonable. They had about 10 of these in the store, but these are vintage 70s um, breakfast trays. It has some bamboo 
it is so nice i love this wood this just feels like such a good quality piece i want to get some vintage glassware get some glasses some plates a tea cup a little tea set and put that on here i think it'd be so cute like some some lemonade or something and have like floral glasses all over it if you know what i mean so yeah i'm living for this i really appreciate it and that is all that i thrifted i'm really excited about these pieces and i really quickly really really want to show you a plant that my sister got me so i'm gonna go grab it it's sitting by the windowsill basking in the sun okay i'm gonna go grab him her gender neutral it's a gender neutral plant people oh my isn't this so beautiful i'm at a loss for words um, okay, sorry behind my new child. I was with my sister. I was kind of feeling sad. Me and her kept trying to make plans. She also lives in New York. We kept trying to hang out. We kept missing each other. And then she came over for like two hours and we went for a walk. We were just strolling around my neighborhood. We saw these mangoes for really cheap. So I bought her two mangoes. I was like, hey, do you want those? Like, my family loves champagne mangoes. I think everyone loves champagne mangoes. They're so, so good. They're the little yellow ones. Um, so I got her some mangoes, and then we kept walking. I was like, I really want a vegan scone. So we started walking towards this little coffee shop, and we passed this plant shop, and both of our eyes immediately went to this plant, and I was like, oh my god, that is so beautiful. And she's like, you want it? And I was like, what? And she was like, do you want it? I'm going to go buy you that plant. And so she picked up the plant and bought it for me, and I thought that was so cute. Like, that is such an awesome gift, and just so, it really, really made my day, because I was feeling sad for a lot of days in a row, which I always keep track of, like, people get sad every now and then, but when I'm sad for, like, a certain amount of days in a row, that's when I'm like, okay, it's getting kind of serious, I need to do something, and when I hung out with her and she got me this, it just meant so much to me, she just bought me the gift of life, and it's already grown so much, like, these back leaves weren't sprouted, like, the one, two weren't sprouted and they were all much smaller and it's just so so beautiful so I got a new pot for it I took it out of its original little thing and I got soil and I've been watering it I'm only supposed to water it twice a week but I water it three times because it just seems so dry but I'm just trying to be intuitive with it despite whatever the shop owner told me but yeah this is like a pretty big pot so I feel like it's okay to water it a little bit extra um, but I don't even use that much water when I do, you know, water it. <laughs> Am I too excited about this plant? I don't care. I'm just so happy that plants can make me this happy. And I actually, fun fact, don't have any living plants in my apartment. All the flowers on my wall are fake. They're from the thrift store. And so this is my first one. I have this idea in my head that I'm going to start a little jungle or plant collection. Uh, is the more accurate word to describe it. But I'm going to start a little, like, collection in my apartment and I just want people to buy me plants. I'm gonna like not buy my own but when people randomly like gift me plants then I just I just want to collect them you know. I don't know why. I feel like it's more meaningful having someone else like bring me these plant children because then it's like I'm caring for the person because I'm nurturing the gift that they gave me. I don't know. Every time I look at this I think of my sister. I think of that day. I think of this life that I now have to take care of and it makes me feel like I have a purpose in this world to take care of this plant every single day. Like three times a day, I'll look at this plant and smile because it grows so much every day. And I'm just like noticing all these little things about it and I get so happy. And I can't even imagine what I'm going to be like when I have children because uh, this is just so nice. And I, I'm just so proud of it for growing so quickly and so strong. Like but yeah, this is my new friend. It's not named. I don't want to name it. It just is. It just is. It's just growing and living. So yeah, let me put this back. So that's all for this haul. I know it was kind of small, but I just really haven't been in the mood to buy more than what I need. I used to go thrifting and just want to buy everything that was cool and everything that was cheap, even if I wasn't actually going to use it, which just isn't practical. And I like doing this way better because hey then I'm like super excited about these pieces I'm not overwhelmed with all these different things to wear and I can just focus on I don't know incorporating these new things into my closet and drawing inspiration from them and making the most out of my closet and using all the pieces that I have because literally when I was shopping today I was going through all this stuff that I thought I wanted or I wasn't sure about and I just got so stressed out and you guys know I'm very conscious of my energy and how 
different things make me feel and it wasn't that I was at a thrift store and like searching that made me anxious it was just having like all these items in my hand I literally just wanted to leave everything and walk away because I was like all these options are just giving me anxiety and I feel like I would be happy without these things and so yeah I just feel like there's no need for excess let me just get like what I need or what I desire in, in a small way. I don't need to like go crazy with it. These pieces that I truly do like, I know that I would regret it so much if I left the store without them. Thank you guys for watching. I will be vlogging. I think I'm vlogging tonight. I've been vlogging for the past week and um, I'm doing some things this weekend that I'll probably show you too because I am so excited about actually having things to do. I just remember last summer I didn't really know anyone, I didn't really have anything to do, so this summer I just feel like it's so great that I have people that I can just text and be like, yo, let's go to the park, let's go to this poetry slam, let's go to this gallery opening, it's just so fun, like, having people that you love around you is so enlightening, so it just makes me happy, and I do want to capture it for myself and to share it with you, and uh, sometimes it does take time to, like, attract the right crowd, but it happens, it's bound to happen if that's what you're seeking. What you're seeking is seeking you, and it's just a matter of time, you know? I keep doing you, and happy thrifting, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys! Your eyes, don't shine.